What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. SoFi has been on a huge run. I want to go over some of the data points, technicals, and where I see things going in the short term. So I'm going to go over all that. Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get right to it. So based on Friday, it did close 703. So welcome back to the $7 range. It did close 3.08% in the green as well. And on a side note, before I get into a lot of the data points and so forth, there's one thing I just want Want you to bring up i have seen a notable difference in the number of people talking about sofi everyone and their dog seem to be shouting that sofi is a screaming buying opportunity but just be aware a lot of those same individuals when this was at four dollars were absolutely quiet so I just wanted to say that just make sure you guys always do your own due diligence. Even myself, I am not a financial advisor. So do your research. I'm just giving you guys a lot of context and stuff like that. You guys always make your own decisions. But moving on from that, even though it has been going up, there's a lot of abnormal bullish activity that's been happening that could definitely signal that it could go up higher and one of which is just generally big money buying a lot of retail investors do like to follow exactly what big money is doing and unfortunately a lot of retail investors get that information delayed through 13 f's or just articles and things like that so typically what does happen is institutions buy and then usually a week or two later they say hey you know what so far is a very good buy you guys retail investors should go buy right now whereas they've already done their position. So it's good to follow this kind of transactions. So these are all the transactions that did happen on the secondary market just on Friday. And when it comes down to Friday after hours, it's normally a desert. Who on earth buys after hours? Um, especially, like I said, on Friday, because you have to buy and hold over the weekend. A lot of things could happen, good, bad, or the ugly, over the weekend. But it does look like a huge, abnormal amount of transactions were occurring, one of which, as well, was 7.95 million. Uh, there was a one in the morning, as well, for 3.02 million. So definitely, this is very abnormal, but for the very big positive. Similarly, looking at options activity from Friday, there was $12 million in call premiums that was purchased that is huge versus 2.58 million in puts so clearly based on this people are anticipating that SoFi is going to break through the moon for the most part so definitely this is a pretty big bullish action that's been happening especially if you do couple that with the general chart so this is all the strike prices expiry dates for calls only and it does show that most likely it's going to be between the seven to eight dollar range within the next two weeks so it's going to maintain this range so i'm going to couple that with obviously technicals and then one final thing i just wanted to bring up in line with options activity is this so this is updated information as of q1 2023 which does show that hedge funds did purchase 8.61 million call options in Q1, which is absolutely huge. It is down 8.88% from the quarter prior, but still that does show and signal that big money behind the scenes was anticipating that SoFi was going to break out. And over and above that, based on all 13 F filers, there was 31.94 million call options that was purchased. So definitely a lot of bullish actions has been happening for a while. Keep in mind, options activity does not necessarily move the stock price. It is just merely a sentiment. But still, you cannot ignore the fact that big money and there was $12 million in call premiums and just big money just generally buying. So definitely that's a pretty positive thing in my opinion. Based on Friday, there was no recent SEC filings, press releases, anything along those lines. They do have their upcoming shareholder meeting as well. So that is stated right here. I believe that is on the 14th, if I remember correctly, uh, right here. So June the 14th. So again, just be aware that there's four points up for voting. Nothing really crazy in my opinion. And on a side note, if you're looking for a lot of good compiled information, such as SEC filings, transcripts, uh, earnings, everything under the sun, Take a look at Seeking Alpha Premium. I do have a link to them in the description below and also the comments for a seven day free trial. So take advantage of that. But moving on, I always like to give you guys a good overview of what short interest is and where things are at in that regard, more so as a benchmark. So again, just be aware of that. So based on Friday, shorts did increase 242,000 shares and 13.77% of the free flow is being shorted. And that works out to be 109.9 .9 million shares overall. Cost of borrow average is very, very small. So on paper, I feel that SoFi doesn't have what it needs or at least what it takes to have a good squeeze but i did find something very interesting so i'll show you this 
and it'll pull back all the unnecessary kind of stuff on this chart right here. So based on this, even though when it has gone up, in reality, the short interest hasn't really dropped too much. So it was around 14.96% before it started to tentatively rally. But as you can see, it kind of went down a little bit, but still currently at 13.74%. So it hasn't gone down too much in relation to how much it's actually gone up. So shorts are losing a ton of money. So you never know. There might be as a result in the near future, potentially, of a squeeze coming. So again, it definitely has that going for it. As of right now on the technicals, it is higher percentile of the boiling band above the 50 and 100 day moving average. So generally that's looking fairly good, but you want to look at a lot of different data points as well. So looking for instance at the FIB levels, it is currently trading between the pivot and the R1. Um, so of course, $7 and 12 cents. So that's the next big heavy resistance point that you need to watch for. Similarly, $6.14 is the next big support. So right now, $7.12 is what you want to kind of watch going into Monday or potentially Tuesday. But for instance, one thing that I just wanted to bring up. So momentum indicator shows number of retail investors were just massively getting into SoFi. Like I said, everyone and their dog are talking about SoFi and saying it's a huge buying opportunity. One thing that they are not necessarily talking on is the fact that, for instance, on on Friday, it did go down or up to $7.11. Coincidentally, it bounced off of that, and that is that R1. So it does need a little bit extra of a push. Potentially, maybe some news coming out from Anthony Noto or some other aspect. There is no big economic data points coming out next week that could really be the driving factor to cause it to go above that. So you need to look at the actual company itself and something to come out in that regard for it to break above this 712 because as you can tell, like I said, it already bounced off of that heavy resistance once and if it tries again and fails then most likely this is where you're going to see it pull back a little bit especially if you do couple that with stochastic SoFi is considered a little bit more overbought right now because it has gone up quite a lot so definitely there's that working against it so generally I am still very very bullish on SoFi but I think based on the technicals, it does need to consolidate a little bit, but still I do kind of agree with the options activity that most likely it will be around $8 within the next two weeks, but it does need to consolidate plain and simple for a nice healthy trend because as much as it is very sexy for any stock just to go directly up um, and is unfortunately not necessarily healthy because there is no support real support within this range whereas if it goes up kind of in this format right here you know every step of the way there's a ton of support so once again that's just my own perspective you guys always do your own due diligence so generally speaking if you guys want a Coles notes version i do feel that sofi is going to go up very very high most likely around the eight dollar range within the next two weeks but it most likely will be testing this seven dollar and twelve cent range on monday maybe on tuesday bounce off of that consolidating and then trying again so that's just how i see things playing out but once again don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that hopefully everyone's having an amazing weekend um on a side note if you do like my channel and support the growth take a look at my memberships link in the description below and also the comments with that said appreciate you guys watching and let's all make a lot of money on sofi